What's up guys, this is uh, the week of the meet and just did 365 and a little bit of volume after that and some bench afterwards and for the deadlift did 405 for three singles, double overhand to preserve the hand and also did some bench afterwards. But let's just talk about the meat. So the meat was not great. Okay, so I did have the expectation that going to the meat that it wasn't going to be a really good meat for me just by the way how my body was reacting going into the meat. So I did have some aspirations for deadlift, but again, it wasn't uh, it didn't go that well. But anyways, let's start off with the weight. So when I initially weighed in, I was 66.4 kilos, so I was over. And I know my bathroom scale is off, so I weighed in initially, and I did drive from Virginia to Pennsylvania that previous night. I started. I stayed at an Airbnb, and then I went really early in the, mor early in the morning to weigh in. So I did weigh in at 66.4. Again, that was unofficial. And then went to the bathroom. I spat some more, and I was 66.2. So I really need to make the weight for the Raw Nationals qualification. So I actually went to the sauna. It's actually the first time I did this. So I just was in the sauna, not too bad for like 30 minutes or so, kept spitting. And then I weighed in again. Uh, the first initial weigh in was 66.2 officially. Weighed in again at 65.9. That was fine. And I began to rehydrate like crazy. Started eating uh, some peach turnovers, cookies and whatnot. So, you know, I felt fine. And Again, approaching the actual competition, I know that the squat and bench, they probably weren't going to be there just based on my training. It's just getting downhill, so I am approaching, going to be approached this next six, six to seven weeks differently, but I did 155 as an opener and that was fine. 165, I did it as well, but didn't feel that great. I uh, used a lot of back for it and I was a tiny bit pitched forward. But, you know, I just want to be conservative and went for 170 and I essentially got stable with it. So, you know, that was pretty disappointing. But again, it's not too great of a surprise. So, you know, that wasn't good. So, again, um, I, I just, um, you know, approached that with, you know, whatever, let's just move forward. And for bench, I want to play conservative again because my bench training wasn't uh, very indicative of me trying getting a PR on that particular day. But it went well. Uh, so I just uh, crushed 95, 100, and 105 kilos, so that was 231 pounds, and I probably could have done more, but didn't really want to play with it. I want to hit my attempts at a meat like this, especially raw meat, because you know if you miss a lot of attempts, you kind of look like a fool because you don't know what you're doing. But anyways, that was fine, so I did have uh, a little more in the tank for that, so it may have been, I probably would have matched the PR, ter uh, PR territory or something close to it. So I think I'll be training the bench as is, uh, but it'll be more mindful. I'll probably be adding more volume to it, and that can't hurt me uh, in general. And for the deadlift, warms were fine. They were a little slow, but you know they were fine. So warmed up with you know, what is it? One thirty-five, two twenty-five, three fifteen, three sixty-five, four twenty-five, and then with the opener, I went with uh, two hundred fifteen kilos. Fine. And the next attempt, I did 235 kilo, again, which was not, I mean, it wasn't it's very easy to lock out. And it was actually kind of hard to, a little, a little hard to finish the top with 235 kilo. So I just called it a day there. And, you know, that can be a function of my body weight or the kind of bar that they were using, they were using a power bar, rope power bar, so very stiff. But again, that's not an excuse, but you know, I thought I was in the category or, or you know, the ability to do uh, 250 kilo. Again, that, that is my immediate goal for the raw deadlift. But, you know, that's how it goes. Not every meat can be a great meat, but just ju judging the uh, type of training I was having, especially the last maybe two, three weeks, Actually, the last three weeks, and, you know, things were going quite downhill. So my approach for the next six, seven weeks, um, I do have a more 
uh, organized approach. And the last week I will do a true deload because I don't think me training like you know balls heavy into the competition, you know, which I usually do. Uh, I mean, don't mistake that. Uh, and I have been having you know really good success, especially with the equip training. I mean, 2018 and and 2000 that well and March 2019 they were actually very good meets, and I did have a shot at getting a PR total at uh, Open Nationals in May. But now I'm debating, you know, if I should do a meet in December. And it just depends how my body feels after this uh, meet at Raw Nationals. But again, Raw Nationals, you know, it's going to be a fun meet. I'm going to reconnect with a lot of people. Uh, so I do like piloting meets uh, also for the social aspect. Now, I'm not that extroverted to begin with. But, you know, if I'm around a lot of uh, people that are powerlifting or powerlifters, then, you know, I have a good time. Lots to talk about, lots to catch up with. And, you know, also I'm going to be dining out with uh, with my buddy at, uh, you know, the Sushi Omakase place, uh, Kyoten in Chicago. So that'll be good. But it's a quick turnaround, so I'm going to be getting there on Tuesday night. I'm going to compete on Wednesday morning. Um, I requested to referee Wednesday evening or offer myself to referee Wednesday evening and Thursday morning. And then I'm going to go out to dinner with my buddy. Um, in on Thursday night so it's gonna be a short trip and then um, Friday I'm probably gonna just relax uh, because I did schedule those three days off from work and it is after my big work deadline so that's that and also the, you know the weight cut leading up to this meet it was you know fairly successful because the last time uh, when I was cutting weight I realized that you know the last meal I had it was different so instead of uh, chicken I, I did have three eggs and I think that threw off my body a little bit and I wasn't able to make weight. Uh, so I do know the steps and I didn't do an incredible amount of water loading because you know it's not really great to do a water load when you're driving three hours or three plus hours to the meat venue. But if I am flying into a venue then you know I do have freedom to drink as much water as possible because I'm not going to be stuck in a car for you know X amount of time and there's also a bathrooms lavatory is available going up to the meet so uh, it should be fine but you know I probably will do a true water load uh, this coming uh, meet Raw Nationals Chicago and this may be I want to say never I, I don't want to say never say you know ever say uh, never but the Thinking here is that this may be my last foray into raw, actually a raw full power. I mean, it doesn't really appeal to me, but you know, because uh, this year's national is so close, and again, it'll be fairly cost effective compared to other nationals. Um, so you know, I'm feeling, you know, just go there and have a good time, and you know, I do like the uh, the restaurant atmosphere in the city. So I'm really looking forward to that aspect. Just having you know a couple days uh, off, and then. You know, going back to the grind of working, but uh, I, I do have a more relaxed period in my my work schedule between October fifteenth and December thirty first. So I'm looking forward to that. But you know, from now until October fifteenth, I'm gonna be super busy at work. So again, training may be compromised. I'll try not to compromise training, but uh, doing a different approach. So I'm thinking on Monday I do more of a volume deadlift instead of uh, going after intensity. And on Tuesday, probably I'm look, I'm think, maybe thinking a high bar for some volume, and then Wednesday for some low bar. Thursday for the heavier single for deadlift. Friday take a rest day. Uh, Saturday, you know, do the heavier singles and triples with squat, and of course bench all five of those days, and also take Sunday off. And I think that's going to be a healthy uh, approach toward training for this raw nationals meet. And again, I, I'll probably just repeat the attempts that I took at this meet so I think that's the best course of action I'll probably I'll probably increase my bench I'll probably uh, shift the bench attempts over but I think going for what I plan for this meet will be good just you know you have some rich retribution for this meet and just make sure and hopefully you can go over nine for nine but um, I will be taking a true deload um, the week out and it's a little weird because I do compete on Wednesday so I'll have to kind of shift that week over um, the week prior so you know we'll see what happens but again 
it's just a part of the learning process. So this was actually my 61st meet. So I'm not gonna lie, I do feel kind of uh, burned out from competing, but I don't think it's something I'll ever stop doing. Um, but you know, I've done so many meets and you know, I, I have to really pick and choose which meets to do. So I'm probably gonna lower my meet frequency uh, to a maximum four times a year. And I'll probably go back to equip and um, you know, go from there. Um, starting the uh, next year. So, anyways, uh, you know, I apologize for no video. Um, so I, I didn't take a video for the meet. Uh, and again, I was only planning on purchasing the photos, and videos if I did really well. But you know, likewise, you know, they had a media policy where you know you were uh, recording uh, exclusively on the uh, Project Invincible media. But anyways, uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys listening and uh, following my videos and uh, stay tuned for next week and the coming uh, training for Raw Nationals uh, and see you guys next week.